Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Sales Invoicing window is used to create customer invoices for items which you have shipped or services that you have provided. Remember that the amounts within the Invoices window do impact the amount shown within the Accounts Receivable account. Filling out the Invoice window is very similar to filling out the Sales Order window, but note that there are two tabs here which do not appear within the Sales Orders window. The Apply to Sales Order Number tab and the Apply to Sales tab. The Apply to Sales tab is where you place items and services that you are selling directly to your customers without using the Sales Orders window. It is very similar to the Sales Orders window's line item area. You just enter the items that you're selling as well as the amounts. The Apply to Sales Order Number tab allows you to ship selected items from a chosen sales order to the customer. You use the drop-down that appears on this tab to select from which sales order you want to ship the items. Those items will then appear in the tab's line item area and you simply input how many of each of the listed items you will be shipping and billing by inputting the number into the shipped column for each line item. At the bottom of this window, you can check the tax code of the customer to make sure that it's set correctly, and you can change it if it isn't. You can also input any freight amount if needed. Remember that the amounts that you input into this box are associated with the expense account that you set for freight in the item defaults window. You can also use freight as an individual line item within the line item area of the invoice if having only one freight account is inadequate for your business needs. The customer account information is shown in the lower left corner. Once a customer has been selected in this window, this area shows their receivable balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. Clicking the balance shown in this area will show you a report on the selected customer. When you're done creating your invoice, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the Sales Invoicing window to save the transaction. Now note that there are a few ways in which you can print invoices which you have entered into the Sales Invoicing window. If you do not intend to print the invoices in Sage 50, but you simply enter them for accounting purposes, then you can type the actual invoice number assigned to the invoice into the invoice number text box in the upper right corner of this sales form and then simply save the form. You will then be able to receive payments against the invoice within the receive money window at a later point in time. However, if you do wish to print invoices entered into Sage 50, then you will not enter an invoice number into this form. Instead, decide if you want to print just one invoice or a batch of invoices. If you want to print just one invoice at a time, you can display the invoice which you want to print within the Sales Invoicing window and then click the Print button in the toolbar at the top of the window. You can then print the selected invoice using the form you select and also assign the invoice number while printing the invoice. If you wish to print a batch of invoices, then you should first create and save all of the invoices without assigning any of them an invoice number. Then select Reports and Forms and choose Accounts Receivable from the menu bar in order to open the Select a Report or Form window. Then you will click the Forms tab in the upper left corner of the window to display the forms associated with the Accounts Receivable category. Ensure that Invoices and Packing Slips is selected from the Form Types scrollable list in the upper left corner of the window. Then select the desired type of invoice to use from the choices shown in the Forms list below that. You can then click the Preview and Print button that appears at the lower right side of the window below the preview of the form displayed in order to open a separate dialog box 
where you can set the criteria that will be used to decide which invoices to print. Note that after changing any criteria that appear at the left side of the window, you may need to click the Refresh List button to refresh the listing of invoices to print, which should appear at the right side of the window. You can then input the number of the first invoice and ensure that the invoices that you want to print are checked. Once you see the desired batch of invoices to print within this list, you can then click the Print slash Email button to print them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.